Hey, Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about how to multiply fractions using GCFs. So GCF just stands for greatest common factor. Okay, so what we were multiplying two fractions together, and when you multiply, you want to multiply the top to the top and the bottom to the bottom. But if you'll notice, 20 times 7 and 21 times 8, those are any, those are very large numbers. So what we want to do is go ahead and uh, factor those down so that we can cancel out terms. So I'm going to take 20 and I'm going to factor it to 2 times 10, which then becomes 2 times 5 times 2. And then I'm going to take 21 and I'm going to factor it to 3 times 7. So I've got my first term factor 21 over or 20 over 21 as 2 times 5 times 2 and then 21 factored as 3 times 7. Now I'm going to multiply that by 7 because 7 is just, uh, it won't factor as prime. And then 8 factors down to 2 times 2 times 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel any factor in the bottom with any factor, like factor in the top, because we know any number over itself is 1. So I can cancel the 2's out. I can cancel another set of twos out, and then I can also cancel a seven out. And that's that's the part I like. I can just start canceling. I, I call it get cancel happy. Now I can multiply anything I have left on top. Well, the only thing I have left on top is a five, and then on the bottom I have a three and a two, so let's multiply those back together, and I get six. So the answer is five, six. So now let's look at one where we have a fraction times a whole number. We're going to do the exact same thing, only we're going to put the whole number over 1, because a whole number divided by 1 is just itself. So to make it into a fraction, we just draw 1 underneath. Now, 2 and 5, those don't factor. Those are both prime. But we know 25 factors to 5 times 5. And then we've just got the 1. Now let's cancel. So I can cancel any term with the top with any term on the bottom. Now we multiply across. So 2 times 5 is 10. And then this canceled out. So I just have a 1 on the bottom, which just leaves me with the whole number 10 as the answer. Now I'm going to bring over two more. And I want you to pause the video. And I want you to try these two. So here they are. The first one is 4 sevenths times 14 36. So you can pause and do that one. And then here's one with a whole number, 5 eighths times 16. So I'm going to go ahead and work them so you can see the answers, but you're welcome to pause and work through them. Okay, I'm going to break down the 4 into the prime factors, 2 times 2. 7 is prime, so it's just going to be 7 times 14 is 2 times 7 and 36. That one's a little harder, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a little factor tree. 2 times 18, and then 2 times 9, and then 3 times 3. So here are my prime factors. I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. There we go. So sometimes you have to do that factor tree. Now let's cancel. So anything on top and bottom can cancel. So I cancel out that set of 2's. I cancel out this set of 2's. I can cancel out the 7's. So what do I have left? Well, on top, I only have a 2. And then on bottom, I have the threes, the two threes. So three times three is nine. So it's two ninths. And now let's look at the whole number. So five over eight, and eight is two times two times two times 16. Well, 16 we know. Let's go over here and look at a factor tree. That's four times four. But then that breaks down to two times two. And then another set of twos. So I have four twos. They're my prime factors. And we said we always put the whole number over one. Now let's cancel. The two is gone. This two is gone. This two is gone. So what's left? Five times two is ten. There's nothing left on the bottom except for a one. So my final answer, I'm just going to write it as the whole number ten. So there you go. That's how you multiply fractions using greatest common factors.